Well, our trailer is still here. That's good. I wonder if the tire is still flat. <laughs> yeah, of course. Welcome to the Handy Henry channel. Okay. This is part three of what challenges will we face in the woods of North Dakota. Welcome aboard. No, I put that log there just in case when it disconnected. If it was real heavy on the back and tipped and the hitch went up in the air, that it wouldn't go as far. Okay. Let's check it out. All right. Well, the first thing we need to do is get our air compressor out. The air comes out as fast as you can put it in. Seeing if it'll take care of Bye. We've got a big And it ain't going anywhere. So, okay. That is not all too terribly surprising. So what we're going to do, since we know that it's shot, and blown we're actually going to hook it back up and get it off the road and then take the tire off so that's how it goes right since we didn't know how long it would take to get the tire fixed we had to get this off the road couldn't leave it on there any longer even though there's not a lot of traffic on this road it's just not safe to leave it out there. So we uh, had to just back it in th to this approach and hope we didn't damage the rim. Okay. But I think we're okay. okay. That's, that's what happens, huh? That happens. Okay. She's a junk tire. We knew that. I'm getting the jack set up on the spring, the leaf spring. Got one block on the ground. And uh, we're going to try to get this tire off the. Alright, we need to take this wheel cover off. Wheel cover off? Yep, get the wheel cover off. To get to the lug nuts, yep. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna use our electric impact. Okay, so I got my socket set here. Three quarter inch maybe, not quite. 13 sixteenths, there's the ticket. Okay, so we got that and then
go get a get a new tire or well, a used tire. I got this nice little generator a couple of years ago, the Briggs and Stratton P2200. Really handy generator. Pretty quiet, quite light, and uh, does a lot of work. It's a good machine. Well, here we are at the tire repair shop getting yeah, a used tire. All right. Well, we've got a tire fixed. We're able to get a used tire for $20. Put mounted on there and everything. It looks like a pretty decent tire. So that'll be that'll be good. I'm gonna go fix the tire on the trailer. You know, sometimes that's how things go on these days working around and things to, things don't go right but you know what we need to have a good attitude and praise the Lord you know work through the truck the challenges and uh, there's far bigger challenges that we face you know that far bigger than just a flat tire on an old trailer and uh, with God's help we can work through those things as we patiently seek him for wisdom and so I hope that you will take opportunities to seek God through uh, reading his word the Bible as I try to do with in my personal life as well as with my family and I hope that you'll do that as well because we do have a Heavenly Father who loves us and who cares about us so We live in a world that is filled with corrupt things. corrupt things and tainted with sin. I'm sure thankful we have a Savior who Amen. gave his life on Calvary's cross so that we could be saved. So, amen. All right, we're gonna we're just getting back out here to where we have the trailer. And uh, we're gonna put the put the uh, new tire on. All right. Oh, look at that beauty! That is a pretty good load. I suppose we uh, shouldn't have loaded her so full, huh? <laughs> it was Daddy's fault. Yeah. Cutting down trees. Right, right. Even if it's hard, you should not give up. You should just keep on working on it, just like we did. We, we loaded too much, but we didn't just leave the trailer out here for, for goners. Keep trusting the Lord. Okay, so I brought another jack along because I was concerned that this might be too low to the ground and not be able to get the new tire under. And my assumption was was actually accurate, and so I'm putting another jack under to, to lift it up. Okay, so that's what we're doing. It. A little Egg. lug nut. Not yet. Oops. A lot of editing. Sorry, everyone.
You let me. You let me. It's actually not even. Not even on there. at it first. It has a spot right here where you want to put for the valve stem. See? Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm not going to kick the center. I'm going to kick right here a little bit. We made it home, made it home, back to there in the tall grass, but the tires did fine, they sure did. And then we'll split this wood up sometime later. Here's that new tire, and she did just fine. We'll leave it sit here for a month or two until we get to this project to split that wood up. Very good. Well, thanks for watching. Look at that beautiful, beautiful old Ford, huh? What, a, what an old truck. That must be, what, a 70s? Tell me in the comments below if you know what year that is, approximately. Or if you ever had a truck like that. I just got it as a uh, pickup box, so I never actually had the truck. So, but not a bad trailer when you get some decent tires on it and uh, have enough air in them <laughs> all right well go ahead and subscribe and thanks for watching <laughs>